But first, it is 6.40 on a Tuesday morning, a week from Halloween, and I really hope that people are going to have a good uh, trick-or-treating experience. It's not going to be too hot, not going to be too cold. It's just going to be comfortable. All right, just All right. right. How does mid to low 70s sound? That work? Pretty, pretty good pretty to good. be. <laughs> All right, let's do it. That's the plan for trick-or-treating. Now, the rain, I think uh, we got some details to iron out on that front. I think we're going to be mostly dry. I think, I think, I think. Uh, but we uh, need to watch the models as we head into next week because a cold front's going to be interacting with Halloween. I'll show you those details here in just a moment. 48 now in Macon. 79 is what we're going to do later on this afternoon. So another big warm up on the way. 43 now in Forsyth, 45 in Monticello down to the south. Not as cool. 54 down in Cordill, 51 over in Rochelle this morning. 49 waking up down in McRae, 52 in Vidalia, 50 in Sandersville and 45 over in Thomaston. You look at the temperatures and it is the tale of two stories as well. Several spots. Warner Robins, Unadilla, Cordill warmer than yesterday morning, but others cooler. Dublin, six degrees cooler, five degrees cooler in Wrightsville and four degrees cooler over in Washington County this morning. The radar is quiet across central Georgia and really for that matter across the southeast. It's mostly quiet. You've got to go into northern Mississippi to find any showers this morning, even more so into Arkansas and then over near the Red River between Dallas and Oklahoma City this morning. What's over there is going to stay over there. Let's slide up towards the north and not going to come towards us here in central Georgia. So We'll be close to 70 by the time we get to the noon hour today and later on this afternoon. This is showing mid 70s. I actually think we're going to get into the upper 70s today. Each day this past week, the model has been showing mid 70s and we get into the upper 70s. So that's just how that goes this time of year. And, but through the overnight tonight, I don't think we're going to get as cool as we are this morning. I think we're going to be looking at more 50s than 40s across central Georgia before we get into the afternoon and closer to 80 degrees across the area. So here we go into Thursday morning again, a bit warmer than Wednesday morning and then into the afternoon. I think we'll spend several hours above that 80 degree mark and then translate something similar here into Friday on into Saturday remaining dry across central Georgia. But you look up towards the northwest here by the time we get into Sunday and Monday, you see a band of rain trying to slide towards central Georgia. Yes, that's what's on future view right now. But the latest runs uh, the the European model is bringing just a little bit of rain across the Georgia state line. The GFS none at all. This is Halloween afternoon here. So let's take a look at that Halloween forecast. I will caution you this on the GFS. It has had no what we call run to run consistency, which means each run after the other is very different from the run before it. The European, though, has had a high amount of consistency, and that is bringing at least a weak front into central Georgia for Halloween afternoon and evening. The plan is, though, for the rain to stay north of us, at least as of now, looking for highs in the low 80s and lows in the mid 50s. That would put the trick or treating temperatures in the 70s there for Halloween night. So watching the forecast carefully, not locked in by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, it's not even on the seven day forecast yet. What is on the seven day forecast, though, is a steady warming trend into the weekend and on into next week. 85 degrees by Monday. There is the dancing mummy. We're going to get Frederick to practice his dancing mummy skills and we'll have that for you after the break.